This is Brian with King Grizzly, and today we're going to be looking at the second Elementor Pro widget as part of our Elementor Pro widget training series. Uh, so we've looked at posts. Um, now we're going to check out this portfolio widget. So I'll drag it onto the page. And by default, it's grabbing some posts. Um, we've just got a handful here on the site. Um, it's grabbing a pretty small thumbnail size, kind of blurry, but this will this will be a good example. So um, what do we see here? By default, the portfolio will go to three columns and we can set how many columns we want to show uh, for our projects. And since it's a portfolio, maybe I want to make it kind of splashy. I'll click on the section container. I'm going to set it to full width, a little cooler. Um, click back over onto the portfolio widget itself. I'm going to change my image size to a bigger size. Your theme will, will have you know whatever size is built in. I'm going to choose a bigger size, much clearer. That looks good. Um, if we want, we can use a masonry layout. And that will just kind of stagger things. So this featured image here is not as big as these ones. Um, depending on how they're ordered, they, you know, they kind of would nest up under each other. But I don't really want the masonry look. I'm happy with more of a, a grid with equal heights. And we can adjust the ratio of the image sizes, which is pretty neat. So I'll find something that I like. And we can even adjust the title tag from H1 all, all the way through H6, and then uh, div span or paragraph tag. And that shows on hover. So it would be the title of your post. And we can I'll show you here what we can pull in. If we go to query, you can pull in posts, pages. We could pull in, if you had custom post types, like I've mentioned before, a movie review site. If you'd made a custom post type using like advanced custom fields or pods or something, that would show here and you could choose it. Or you could do a manual selection, click on that and actually type in, say, the name of a post. Um, I don't know if I, what I have. Yeah, so I could choose just one if I wanted to. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be okay with just posts. And if I really want to, I could just limit it to a term or an author or whatever. So like I could choose a tag here um, and it would just show portfolio items tagged that way. So it's pretty nice. You can make some nice portfolio layouts like that. And then we can also sort by the date. We can order them different ways, descending, ascending. We can choose whether or not we want to ignore sticky posts. Um, and we can even add a filter bar. So I'll turn that on and we're going to filter. Let's filter by tags. So you can see these are some of the tags we have. It's got a lot, um, but if I click on it, it will actually use some sort of an Ajax functionality to sort. Pretty cool. And then we get down to styling. Now, if I want, I forgot to mention on these titles, I can turn them off. But it seems like a good feature to have. So going over to the style tab, we can control column gap, row gap, if you want anything like that. We could set a border radius. I don't really like that chiclet look, so I'm going to go with the square edge. On the item overlay, we can choose a background color. So I changed it to blue, but maybe it'd be neat if it were partially see-through. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. It screens it down enough. I can still see the image, but I can also see the title. I can control the color of the title just by adjusting that. I can even adjust the size of the font um, or even the font itself, just all these typography controls. And I can style this uh, filter bar if I wanted to. So maybe I'd like to do um, uppercase in a smaller size, maybe a lighter weight. So there's, there's a lot we can do there. Um, go back to content. Maybe eh, maybe I don't want the filter bar, I can turn that off. So that's generally how it works. Uh, if we go to tablet size, it goes down to two column, but I can adjust that here. I can also adjust how many posts come in. Maybe I want to pull in more. We don't actually have eight, 
so you, it only can pull seven. Um, so maybe six was a good number for us. Um, and I can do the same on the phone. So on the phone, I kind of like just the one. Um, so that's really the, the gist of the portfolio tool. It's very simple, um, but if you were to add a custom post type um, to a site, say for, let's say you're a graphic designer and, and want to show you know, work, this is, this is a pretty nice way to do it. And you can pull this um, on any page. I have not noticed a dynamic way to do this, right? So like if this were an archive page, I don't see here. Well, actually that's not true. You could do current query. So if this was a tag page or like a category page, like an archive, if we went with current query, then it would populate these with those posts. So I'm, you know, I'm incorrect that that would actually work. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a fairly sophisticated offering for a nice uh, portfolio tool. I, I kind of think this is, this is cool. I may, I may be using this more often.